Hello everyone, this is David here. Today I'm going to show you a comparison between Google Chrome and the Android Stock Browser. Let's begin. On the left there is my Nexus 4 and on the right my Sony Xperia S. I will use Perfmon Overlay to show you the CPU usage during the world test. On the left there is a Snapdragon S4 quad-core processor at 1.5 GHz. On the right there is a Snapdragon S3 dual-core processor, same at 1.5 GHz. Let's begin with the Android Stock Browser by visiting the Verge website, always in desktop mode. I will show you guys how this browser is fast and smooth on these devices. Put an eye on the CPU usage. On the Xperia S is full using one core, and then in the Nexus 4 is half using all the four cores, but only one is put close to the 100%, same as with Xperia S. By using it with the Nexus 4, it goes pretty well, and with the Xperia S, the usage goes up even with the second core. Let's open an article. As you can see in the Nexus 4, only two cores were at 1.5 GHz, and in the Xperia S, only one was full at 100% at 1.5. The Xperia S can easily move in this page even with one core active. Let's visit the same web page with the latest version of Google Chrome for Android. As you can see, the CPU usage on the Nexus 4 is a bit higher. Same as with the Xperia has, that is fully using both of its core even in loading the page. On the Nexus 4 is pretty good, it runs pretty fast, but it uses all the four cores. Smooth and easy there. Let's test with the Xperia now. It's way worse. The CPU is at 100%. It's at maximum, but it's lagging. Gestures are so low. Let's load the same article. Same thing with the Nexus 4. Higher GPU usage. But it's more smooth and easy. Here we have some troubles on Xperia S. That is trying to use all its power to render this page. There is a big amount of lag here on the Xperia S despite it has a good hardware. So, let's jump to the conclusions. According to me, the Android Stock Browser is way better on mid-range and long-range devices and Google Chrome is too heavy for them. So, I recommend using it only on Nexus device, on high-end devices such as the Nexus 4, the Galaxy S4 or the HTC One. It's interesting that Despite it was using the full power of this hardware, Google Chrome wasn't way faster in rendering the page comparing it with the Android Stock Browser. I'm asking to the viewer of this video, what do you think about what you have seen? Write it in the comment below. It was enough for today guys, as always, thanks for watching.